guys. It's time for gold three. Gold three, Protoss. Let's go. Gold three. And answer a question. Someone in chat right now. You can't push out with Terran with, like you can with Zerg. But how I do with the Roaches because Terran units perform better exponentially. Zerg units don't really need to be like that. Like Roaches can perform with 12 Roaches really early and screw your opponent up because it's not that expensive and it can potentially do a lot of damage. If I send like one Thor at my opponent, it's probably going to get overpowered really easily. And it's a big waste of my money. Terran works kind of like how Zerg does when we get to Diamond League and we actually start using Cyclones. But when we go Thors, no, you, you don't use Thors like that. Thors don't work like that. All right, so we're against the Protoss PvP guys. We got a nice PvP on our hands. Buy four tabs for the Nexus. It's only three. Okay, I have two probe, two tabs for the probe. It's because I. Uh, it's just how I play. You don't physically have to do it yourself. Right, we're gonna chrono boost probes. It's because I use five control groups in the early part of the game, every every game. But I'm not really doing that in Gold League. Even though I bind it, I'm not actually doing anything with it. But it's a habit. I use five control groups in the beginning of the game. Because I, I rotate my fingers around the keyboard a lot when I normally play. Alright, so we can spread us. We're going to build a second gate when the first gate is almost done. Scouting his base. He's got a couple gases already. Cool. We're going to go ahead and build a core. He's got a forge and a, and a gateway. Okay. So, automatically, this makes me think that I don't need... This gateway is really late, guys, just so you know. This gateway is super late. So, I don't... Now, I already know I don't need to make stalkers. We're going we're gonna to react to this in a, little, in a little bit of an intelligent way. His, his gateway is super late. His forge was first. He does not have a proxied cannon rush in my base. We can make sure about that right now. Be like, are you cannon rushing me? Oops, I didn't mean to pull two probes. No, he's not. Cool. So, let's make a nexus. Before anything else. And let's keep making probes. We can still make stalkers and stuff like that, but... this What this makes me think is, is this guy is going to make cannons defensively and rush either Dark Templar or air units. That's what I think. So, we're going to keep chrono boosting our probes now. Because that forge is really defensive. That forge is super defensive. If you're not getting cannon rush and someone opens with a forge, you can expect them to be going super turtle mode with cannons. And we're going to make a robo behind this. We're keeping it simple, guys. We, we could do a lot of things with this, but we're going to keep it simple. We're going to stick to the build we've been doing the whole time. We're making a robo. And we're, uh, we're just making... Economy. Every time we can, we, every time we have a Chrono Boost available, we're Chrono Boosting the Nexus right now. Because it's all about greed right now. It's all about our economy. Now that the natural's done, we're going to start really ramping up our income because now we have a second active mineral line. And as soon as I can with enough energy, which is right now, we're going to make a hallucinated phoenix and we're going to go scout his base. We're going to see exactly if he's going for what I said he is, like a, a, either a Dark Shrine or air, and we're going to see what's up. Let's go and build a pylon behind my mineral line so I can prepare myself to build shield batteries in the mineral line if I see a Stargate. He's got his base. Hey, we got a cannon behind the mineral line. Okay. Cool. Time for battle. Okay. Let's just go ahead and uh, build an observer right now because this is uh, one base Protoss still. This is really weird. Go and make a couple of, uh, of uh, whatever the cool gases. Let's make a shield battery in each mineral line. There might be proxied tech somewhere. That is totally possible. Research complete. But now we have an observer. So now we have shield batteries against a potential um, shield batteries against a potential guy who's going for like Oracle, and we have an observer against a guy who's going for a potential uh, 
दी थी Then we can also start a third base in just a second. I am here in the shadow. Now this is the last thing I'm thinking here well, with what could be happening. We've already mentioned it before, but proxy, something proxy. I'm, I'm imagining that something proxy is happening right now. So let's once again, with our sentry, make a Hussein Phoenix. Oh, he's in the bottom. Mass void raise. We're gonna A-move the stalkers into these Void Ray. Okay, we're gonna back, right? First time I would say we need to really kind of micro attack. If he turns on this fucking active beam, don't stand there and fight that shit. That's a good way to just lose the game. Just wait till it's over, and then you can fight it. Now he's shown us what he's doing, which is mass Void Rays. So let's go ahead and make like, Bunch more gates. We'll let this. We'll just cancel this. I am in gold three, yeah. So the micro we did there was literally pull back. We just didn't stand there and let my units die. We can also start a Twilight Council so we can get a blink here, I guess. If we want to, we can just blink at them. Okay, so same thing again. Don't stand there and just keep that damage. Just back up for a second. Let's build another core. I'm here in the shadow. We're A moving right now. We can start a third base over here. Start kind of boosting like blink. We even start like just a couple more gateways. And we can even start Archon potential. The potential for Archons. Now we can make a bunch of stalkers all at once. We can also uh, send a Hallucinated Phoenix down to the bottom side of the map, because that's where he is with his proxy, so we can see exactly what's going on. There it is, boys. Double. We can back up again. Same thing. We don't need to fight this, like, while it's overpowered. Alright, it's kind of turning off. Let's walk at him. A move. We're A moving. The reason why we won that game is because it was that that there was there was a tad bit of micro there. It was more of a, a more of an understanding. If you just fucking if you know your opponent's on one base because we've seen it multiple times because we scouted it, and you stand there with your first like four stalkers because we're protect, we're preparing to maybe go into Colossus tech. We've already we're committing to the normal build we we're doing, and then like four void rays come in your base and they turn on the beam. Four four void ray versus like four stalker, and you just stand there in the charged up beam. You will die. 100%. You're going to die if you do that. This shit does 16 damage every 0.3 seconds. 0.36 seconds. So you're going to die. All you got to do, though, is just let her go. I'll run away for a second. I'll let you attack my nexus. Or attack a building. And you're fine. And then you... That's all it took for us to do that. We just backed up. And then as soon as his beam overcharge was almost over, we went right back and attacked him again. Because this thing has a big cooldown. The cooldown of this ability... It lasts for 14 seconds, but it has a 43 second cooldown. So there's a lot of time where he cannot use it. And then if you get to a point like this, where you're fighting a bunch of Void Rays with a bunch of Stalkers, and he's no longer overcharged, the reason why we're winning this fight is because look at the supply. It always happens like this. Like he's smashing my gas. Cool, he killed a probe or two. But he actually killed no probes. He just killed my gas. Well, look at the supply. 80 supply of Stalkers now versus 47 supply of Void Rays. Because we extended the game. Because it, it, this is all like a psychological thing too. If he turns on overcharge and I back up and I don't lose my stalkers. And I make more stalkers. He's not going to feel confident to fight them anymore. He's going to always back up. He's only going to feel confident when he has the void rate overcharge on. 
But if it gets to a point where you just get a lot of Stalkers, like this, because we're going for a Stalker Colossus-based build, but we kind of cut the Colossus out because we don't need Colossus versus this. If we get to a point where we have a lot of Stalkers, this is what happens. He killed one Stalker. Two Stalkers. He killed two Stalkers and lost, like, five Void Rays. And now he's... The game's over. And that's it, boys. That's it. And we knew the whole time, because we made a sentry early. Well, first of all, we knew he was making a forge. Which is like, I'm making cannons. And that's kind of weird. It's really weird. A lot of times when people make a forge like that, they're going to go Stargate. Or they're going to tech rush to something, which is either going to usually be Stargate or maybe DTs. But usually it's Stargate. Oh my god, we're playing a GM player, guys. Oh my god! <laughs> With Vibes Rush Build, we don't make a lot of queens. Well, here's the thing. Do you remember what we just said, though? We scout... If you're Zerg, okay, and you scout his base, and you see, oh, he's got no natural, and he's walling his main off with a fucking forge. <laughs> you're gonna have some more inclinations now as to what the hell is going on. You know what I mean? Like, you're gonna have an idea. Alright, we're gonna scout him with the probe. Run to his base. At the end of the day, you guys can do whatever you want with these builds. These are just more like guidelines as to how to play the game. But the big bottom line of everything is keep your economy running really well. And try not to make units that require a lot of micro. If you can do those two things, you'll have a lot of success playing the way that I'm showing you. Alright, does he have a gas? No. He's going for three base. Gasless. Alright, that's kind of a big door right there. Watching this with my son, is Vibe gay or is he supporting rainbow people? What did your son ask me that? Held your son. Kids say the darndest things. What's his name? Is that Billy? Silly goose. <laughs> Don't be such a silly goose, Billy. So we're going to build a pylon here. My wall is kind of messed up, guys. It's really ugly. We're going to put the probe here and we'll put the pylon there. Or the, the, the sentry, whatever. Keep chrono boosting my, uh, my boys. Keep chrono boosting the boys, boys. Move it Stalker in the door now. Stalker's fatter and tank here. Yo, thank you for the rainbow pride bits. Lanimas. Let's make a shield battery. Just just in case. This guy, because I'm about to pop a, a hallucination. So if you're going to pop a hallucination and you don't have enough for a... Which probably should wait until 125. so where I can have a force field and a hallucination. To be safe. in case, Because I'm like, if I'm like popping a hallucinated phoenix and he just shows up and I'm just dead. That sucks. You know what I mean? 
So we'll, we'll, we'll take it nice and easy. Nice and easy, boys. Nice and easy. Alright, let's go ahead and get a... Another gate, a forge now, as well. And... Oh, God. And a council. And we'll start making Colossus. So now we'll make a Phoenix. Because I can now... I can force field as well. So let's try and get an idea of what's actually going down in, sort of, in a Zerg town. Not a lot of drones on the gas. A third hatchery, a layer, a roach warren. So his economy? I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it's not the most efficient thing in the world. It's really not. It is not. We're gonna start a third base. Kind of just chilling. Make another pile over here, just so I um, can warp in units more aggressively if I want to. I'm here in the shadow. <clears throat> All right. I feel like we have a kind of a scary army now. It's it's getting there. We're about to have two colossus and uh, a decent amount of stalkers. And our third base is almost getting saturated. I feel like a shield battery down at my third as well, just in case he hits either side. <clears throat> what we can do now is um, we can go ahead and start getting our gateway count ramped up a little bit. I'll start a pylon for it right now, like over here. We'll add on like four more gates here in just a second. There's another Colossus. We have a third one now in production. Research <coughs> complete. Excuse me. And now, let's go ahead and start getting some more gates. We'll add on four. One, two, and we'll add on a tw uh, Templar Archives as well, so we can start making Archon. Four gates, and a Templar Archives. Probe count right now is looking alright, we're at 64 already. We're gonna go a little bit more, we're gonna go to like 75, would be great. We can start another base here. Colossus. We have three Colossus now, and now we're really going to start ramping up the uh, gateway count. Really ramp up the gateway count. Research complete. Grab some probes and send them over here as well. Depleted. So we need five more probes. And when we get to like 140 supply, we will again stop making stalkers and we'll start making. Well, we will then start making a. Uh, Archons and Templars. There we, go. we have 75 probes now, so we're good on that. <coughs> and now, now, we make more gates, and we really ramp it up. Yo, thank you for the bits. Beholm, Syphobia, Clickety, Lanimas. Sorry, I didn't say thank you to some of you before, but thank you guys. Much appreciated for the bits. And notice how we are losing a lot of money here, where it's like, oh, damn, vibe. Like, you can't really spend your money now because you don't have any. That's true. That's why we can go like this now. Just start making Archons. And we balance it out because we made the Archives for that. And now, finally, before we move out, we can do that same thing we always like, we talked about always doing against any race, really. It helps a lot. With people who like to play base trainee type, type styles. Make a battery and a cannon in every mineral line. And it will help keep you a lot safer 
versus all types of potential counters and random crap like that. One more Templar, and then we'll make all Zealots now. And now we can... Two listed Phoenixes. One's going to go to the top side of the map and scout bases. One's going to go to the bottom side of the map and scout the bases. And we're basically looking at where are his bases currently. The, like, what's the mo what's the furthest outest, furthest most out base that I can attack and kill easily? There you go. There it is right there. I just found it. That's an easy base to kill. Let's go ahead and get up there and go kill it. Now we can also start another base over here for ourselves. So this game has been ultra passive. This guy has made so much. He's this guy is on six bases right now. Super greedy Zerg. He's on more bases than me. I'm on four. Soon to be five. Well, let's see how well he fights against me now. I'm literally shift clicking every one of his bases with my entire army. That base is dead. Gonna have an observer follow up Colossus. Let our enemy know our fury. So he's got Lurker. I'm not micring anything, guys, by the way. Okay, so our army, if we're gonna be like, oh, okay, our army just got a little battered right there, a little bit. We can be like, all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and regroup. Let's move in right there. Let's grab some of my uh, my probes that are starting to mine out a little bit. Okay, so we'll re regroup my army. And look, we're focusing 100% of our attention on our macro. We're making sure all my economy is running wonderful. It's all looking pretty good. No bases are oversaturated. Now let's see one last thing. Let's really ramp up our gateway production here for one big one big attack again because we just really crippled the Zerg. Let's do it again. We're maxed. There we go. We're maxed. Let's fucking go. Now we're going to attack him from the other side because we're down here again. Wait for these archons to finish. Now do it again. Hold shift. A click. A click. A click. A click. Grab my observer, wherever the fuck it is. There it is. And just like right click a Colossus with it. Because the observer will literally fly into a spore if you don't do this. So if I right click like a Colossus and I don't want to micro it later, it'll just follow the Colossus the whole time. And there you go. And yeah, now we can be like, what do we want to do? Let's let's prepare for a potential in-game scenario here. Let's add on some Stargates. Well, add on like five Stargates. This way we can switch into something else if we really want to later. And now we can start kind of boosting shield upgrades and weapon upgrades for air. Make sure my, my economy is going great. Okay, let's, let's make some units. My army's still going well. Cool. We got still got 75 probes. <coughs> Keep chrono boosting upgrades. So we'll look back at what the fight just looked like again for the last one. This is what this is what was going down when we were focusing on making sure all of our mineral lines were great. We fixed that one in a second. We just we fixed all of our economy. We've saturated these gases, and this is what was going on in the meantime. <laughs> the Archons. Sneak attack from the low ground. And that's what happened. 
So his army just got kind of zapped by these Colossus. Like, look at the Colossus. We got one with 12, one with 17, one with another one with 17, and another one with 14. These Colossus killed many, many, many things throughout this whole game. And then these, some of these Archons have some pretty hefty kills, like 11 kills, 6 kills, 4 kills, 6 kills. These units are all about just, like, smashing shit with A-move. It's not really, not really micro required. Here we go, boys. Gold 2 with Protoss. 